Uh, I'm slightly very much impressed by this thing right now. What's up everybody and welcome back here to Forza Horizon 4. We're here on the mainland to do a little bit of a supercar drift build. I know the new release updates came out with the new McLarens and I haven't picked that up yet but I will be getting that. But today one of my favorite McLarens is this one right here. It is a beautiful car and well we got a top down here in the beautiful mainlands. So today we're going to be doing a build on it. The other reason I say this is one of my favorite ones is because yes you can get a wide body on it so it's a lot of fun so this car is actually stock right now and it kind of kind of gets where it needs it to go but we're definitely going to be throwing drift suspension on it more power a body kit locking the rear diff and doing a full basically supercar drift build so if you guys want to keep seeing more Forza Horizon 4 on the channel, make sure you tap that like button. I would appreciate all the support. And let me know down in the comments down below. And always follow me on all social media, whether it be Instagram or Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. I said we go build this thing. It, although it drifts pretty well. Stock. Good thing that car was a ghost. I'm surprised how well this thing actually handles. A little bit more power, some different gearing, and of course we'll be throwing that wide body on there. So let's go to the shop and get this thing built up. So our first goal of getting this thing going is of course going to be suspension and everything like that. But we got to throw that nice wide body on here. That's why I said I like this so much. Is it not going to give it to me? Oh, I forgot. I got to click on it. It's been a while. That nice wide body, that nice wide stance, giving us some nice fender flares and stuff, the Liberty Walk kit. And, of course, we're going to be throwing that giant Liberty Walk wing on this thing because it wouldn't be a full wide body on Horizon if you don't have the giant Liberty Walk wing. So let's get into the nitty-gritty of doing this. I believe we're going to leave stock tires on there for right now. And we're going to leave 235s up front. We'll leave 305s in the rear. I'm gonna throw some nice lightweight wheels on here. Ooh, all those Yankees looks the Yankees look pretty sweet. They're not lightweight, but we're gonna go with the Yankees just because they look cool. So, and one of my favorite wheels anyway. So now we're gonna get into getting all the other parts on this car. And then we will get into tuning it and go taking it for a rip and see what difference it does. Basically gonna be shredding this thing, having some fun on the mainlands with it. Probably gonna leave the coloring. There we go, drift suspension, get thing really low I'm gonna put a cage in it lighten that thing all the way up making the like most expensive hypercar drift build ever what are we looking at power we're at 641 we're gonna bump that up I feel like we should have been plenty with 641 but why not see how far we can go with this and really shred the tires I believe we're gonna be up of a thousand maybe not we might be short yeah, we're going to be probably just a little short of a thousand. So 915 horsepower. Uh, it's a lot of power. So let's go get some uh, tunes on this thing to make this thing handle, I hope, better than um, I'm expecting. So like I said, probably one of my favorite looking cars uh, with the wide body kits right now is this McLaren. So tuning. We're definitely going to have to drop tire pressures down a lot because of the amounts of power. 22, we're going to leave the gearing the same. We're going to drop this camber down to 1. We're going to leave that 5. We'll leave all. The, actually, we're going to drop this down to like 4.6. We're going to try. We're kind of going to try a Forza tune and see how this works. Oh my goodness, that is super stiff in the rear. That is going to get dropped down a lot. I'm going to drop that down way more. It's probably This is probably actually going to hurt us. 
but we're definitely going to find out. I should have left that there. Drop that down. I throw some tandem style brakes on here. And of course, we're going to throw that lock. We don't need to mess with the rear too much, or the DSL, because this thing's going to lock up anyways. All right, so that's what we're looking at. Hopefully this car drives how I want it to, so let's hit the streets with it and have a little fun. Probably the most expensive drift build that I've done. Oh my power. And it is roasting tires, but off the bat, it doesn't handle too bad. I love the fact that you can see the cage without the top on the car. So, first off the bat, other than that, that was actually uh, quite good. Uh, I'm slightly very much impressed by this thing right now. Oh, I got a little bit overconfident but I am actually very impressed with how that drives right now this thing handles quite well done a little twisty sections down here the original I guess you would say toge roads on the mainland I think the downforce is definitely helping us we're just roasting it in third gear I'm actually quite impressed and having a lot of fun with this. You guys should give this car a chance yourself if you don't have it. Oh, we're gonna go this way. I was gonna go that way, but we're going this way. So definitely, no nope, understeer. Definitely, very much so impressed with how this thing is running right now. need that big wing taking everything out so if you guys have a hypercar drift build that you guys have done what is it let me know down in the comments down below because i'm very curious what you guys are rocking for hypercar drift builds because this car with this wide body and this downforce that this thing is putting out it's handling a lot better than i thought it was it can grip up when i need it to also oh rock for jetta Doesn't need much handbrake either. You have arrived I mean, for first rough tune on this thing, it handles pretty well. And you know what? Oh, other than the little bit of understeer, you could probably run this thing in a almost a grip style too if you can catch traction. Which is actually. <laughs> the grip is not there <laughs> for turning, but of course we were doing a quite high rate of speed, so we're going to test some little high speed drifting in it. So let me know what you guys think of this build quick back in Horizon 4, but I'm actually having fun with this car. I feel like our next endeavor with this car... Oh, Next endeavor with this car will be taking it to the Toge Roads and seeing how it does on the Toge Roads, but... It's actually very grippy if you want it to be. And it drifts when you want it to also. I'm going to hit the speed section. Kind of holding that line. Ooh. Stay on the road. I don't think I've ever done this yet. Quite grippy. Oh, as I say that, we die. Woo. So definitely very much impressed with this car and how it drives. It's a fun looking car and well, it kind of has that speed when you need it. And also uh, the slideability when I wanted to. 
So, like I said, very, very impressed with how this thing is handling on a first throw out there. So, like I said, if you guys have a hyper drift build of your own supercar, what have you, let me know down in the comment section down below what it is. I didn't think I was going to hold that. And I didn't. Let me know what it is down below. Maybe we can do a all supercar drift lobby here on Horizon 4. If you guys would be interested in, in that. Just a little wall grace. We're good. So the high speed drifting of this car is uh, pretty good, but it does get taken away from that with the downforce that this car is throwing down. If I adjust the downforce, I could probably get it to do better. But it grips and it holds the ground when I want it to. And it's okay in the grass. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little episode here to start the week off with this supercar drift build here on the channel. And as always, I appreciate all the support and I do appreciate all the comments and everything you guys are bringing to the channel. Those were clips, right? So as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. This is just the first time you're going to see this car. You will see this car a lot more. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.